hello and welcome to this video. Now, I will show you something quite useful, I believe, and that is uh, how to get, how to properly get that free SSL. Now, you may already know, and if you don't know, I'll tell you a hugely important secret. It's not a huge secret, of course, but uh, you can get free SSL, a proper SSL certificate for three months, okay? So it's not three months and then you have to pay, but uh, it's three months and then you renew it for free again and again and again and again. Now, I'm not going to get into how it all started and who created all that and uh, uh, who is responsible for that non-profit kind of an arrangement, uh, but what I will show you here, what I will show you is the client that she used to actually access these. Uh, uh, so it's basically one central kind of a thing and then you have lots of different websites that will offer you access to that free certificate. Several of them. Some of them are good, some of them are bad, some of them are very, very terrible. Basically, we'll just look at three examples and you will have two choices after that from which you can choose and get your free certificate. So let's not waste any time and let's take a look. Now then, let's take a look at uh, some of these options and I'll explain about them. And uh, again, you want a free SSL. Usually there are some reasons as to why you might buy a premium one, uh, one that you have to pay for. Uh, the time, it, it lasts longer and there are a few other reasons, but I'm not getting into the paid stuff. This is all about the free stuff and there are actually very few options. There is basically one option and then you have uh, many clients to access it. Uh, uh, and some of them are good, some of them are decent, some of them are rather terrible. Okay. So let's see. Now, this is probably going to be the view that you will see then searching for one of these options. You'll have free SSL in your search box and then you'll go to Let's Encrypt maybe or you'll go to SSL for free. Okay, SSL for free. This is what it looks like. And uh, it used to be a valid option. It's not anymore. Uh, now you'll get to some other site and then you'll have to uh, pay if you want more than one subdomain. Uh, so you can't do that. You can't enter multiple subdomains. You can have one domain for free, but then there are restrictions and all that other nonsense. So it's not free anymore. Okay. It's not free anymore. Uh, it says free, but it's not really that and it can be quite annoying. So don't go with this option as a sell for free. That's a bad one. Okay. Uh, the next one. Okay. The next one. Now this one is truly free and this one is truly great. That is if it works. Okay. Usually it will work. So basically uh, what you have to do, you have to download this um, uh, console window, console application for Windows. If you have Windows Server, right? If you have Linux, you will need to search for something else. Uh, but this is for specifically for Linux, for Windows rather server. And basically you go to and letter, you go through some options. Okay, you go through them and you choose the bindings, you choose your subdomains from the IIS, it gets everything automatically, it verifies everything automatically, it's just perfect. That is if it works. Now, on most of occasions that I have tried this option, it did work and it worked perfectly. Unfortunately, on one occasion where I had perhaps more bindings in the IIS, uh, it did not work, it failed, I tried to excluding some, uh, then on a couple of them it worked and then it didn't work uh, when I added more, so it can get quite tricky. But do you try it, you just download it, you run it, um, uh, basically insert a few letters, click enter a few times and that's all you need to do. Unfortunately, it is a console application. It could be a proper one, but they chose to make it a console for some reason, which makes your life a little bit more difficult. Uh, uh, but having said that, you just install it, you use it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You'll go with the third option I will show you. Okay. 
So this is the third option. It's called freeSSO.org. Okay, so all of the stuff is free. You don't need to pay for anything. Uh, you don't need to. You do need to register, but uh, you don't need a credit card or anything like that. Uh, if you are looking for a free SSO and they are asking you for a credit card, go away immediately. Leave immediately. There is no reason to stay there. Okay, it has to be completely free. Just a simple email. Uh, password, maybe some other details, and that's it. Okay, so basically, you can enter here as many domains uh, uh, as, as you want, uh, rather subdomains, not domains, uh, as you want, uh, and it will create uh, uh, one certificate for all of them. Now, this is obviously good when you have. Uh, one Windows server and one IP address uh, for that Windows server so you can only basically do one binding and one uh, certificate for several subdomains okay so this is where it is useful you can do that and then you choose let's encrypt version 2 and we have three months validity so that's the usual stuff uh, and you go through this uh, you will need to download this uh, uh, sort of a program windows application but it will be a proper one it will be installed on your computer it's a very nice very modern interface uh, it's not a console interface so it's uh, very nice and neat and it will work perfectly so again don't go with ssl for free uh, try this uh, then Acme I will provide the links it will be easier to find uh, and then do try of course if you if you can't use this one or if you don't want to use uh, this one just try this one this should work I tried it a couple of weeks ago so it seems to be quite recent and it seems to be working now with all that said good luck to you and we will conclude this video